In Lesson 1.1, students see a demonstration of a solid and then they investigate with a gas and a liquid. Students come up with the idea that the particles of a gas are very far apart and not very attracted to each other, that the particles of a liquid are much closer together and pretty attracted to each other and move past each other, and the particles of a solid are close together, very attracted to each other, and vibrate but don't move past each other. You'll first start by gently tapping a hammer on a piece of wood or maybe hammering a nail into a piece of wood. And then you can show an animation of a hammer hitting a nail. And we zoom in and get an idea of what the particles, in this case of a metal, are like. And that they're very close together, they're attracted to each other, and they vibrate in fixed positions. So this is a basic idea of a structure of a solid. Next, students will look at an empty bottle. You can have a discussion with the class about whether the bottle is actually empty. And kids should understand that there's air in there, but what is that like? Well, since air is made of particles, if they squeeze the bottle, the particles can move from the bottle into the balloon and inflate it. The idea is to get students thinking that the air and any sample of matter is made up of tiny particles, atoms, and molecules. And you can show an animation to this effect also. Here students look at an empty bottle and talk about whether it's truly empty or what's inside. And you can have a discussion that there are particles inside. All the particles that are in the gases and air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. And then when students put a balloon on it, you, that you can show them through the animation that the particles actually moved from the bottle into the balloon, and that's what inflated the balloon. So next, students look at another empty bottle, but in this case with a cap on. And students squeeze the bottle and see if it's possible to move those particles of a gas closer to each other. And it is. You can squeeze the bottle, and you can make the argument that when you squeeze the bottle, you're squeezing the particles of the gas near each other, that they are compressible. And we try to show that in an animation where the particles of gas are shown and then there's a cap on the bottle. And now we're going to squeeze the bottle and you can see that it is squeezable. So the particles of a gas are far enough apart from one another that they can be sort of squeezed closer together. Then kids look at a sample of water in a bottle to see if that can also be squeezed like the gas. It's barely compressible at all. So what's that say about the particles of a liquid compared to the particles of a gas? In an animation, we can see that if we have water inside a bottle and cap it, let's see how easy or difficult it is to squeeze. The bottle's full of water molecules that are relatively close together. They're much closer together than the particles of a gas, and there's many, many, many more of them. And therefore, we try to squeeze it much more difficult to squeeze. It's very hard to move water molecules closer together. They're almost incompressible. So students end up with a general idea of the characteristics of a solid, a liquid, and a gas on the particle level. The little girl is standing on a solid diving board, so the state of matter here the kids can see that the particles are close together, very attracted to each other, and vibrating, but not moving past each other. So now she's up in the air, which is a gas, so the particles are much further apart, barely interacting with each other, not very attracted to each other. And then she splashes into the water, a liquid, where the particles are pretty attracted to each other, not quite as much as a solid. Uh, they're close together, and they move past one another. For the NGSS, Performance expectation 5 PS11 says develop a model to describe that matter is made of particles too small to be seen. What this lesson does is it looks at solid, liquid, and gas and tries to describe them on the particle level using these models. It shows that uh, a solid, the particles are very attracted to each other and close together. In a liquid, they're attracted to each other but can move past one another. And in a gas, they're not very attracted to each other and are very far apart. In the foundation boxes for the NGSS, Science and Engineering Practices, students develop a model to describe the phenomena that they experienced in the investigation. For the disciplinary core ideas of structure and properties of matter, the lesson shows that matter can be subdivided into particles that are too small to see, whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas, and that gases are made up of particles that are far apart and move around in space and can inflate something like a balloon. 
And for cross-cutting concepts, this idea that natural objects exist from the very small to the immensely large, in this particular activity, we're talking about looking at matter at the very, very, very small level of atoms and molecules. Thanks for watching and listening, and good luck with the lesson.